Hello everyone. Today in this video, we'll be discussing the module three second super important question, which is uh, regarding the classification. Okay, so the decision tree we have to construct for the given table. Okay, this is the type of the question which you should be uh, expecting. And here, few of the key points what you have to uh, note down. All the things I'll discuss and how do we make that uh, tree in an easy step process. No matter how big the table, no matter how many attributes are there, the same steps are to be followed. So make sure you watch the video till the end and make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And let's get started without wasting any more time. The same question I've copy pasted here, and let's have a look. Entropy of the uh, collection of the transaction records of the table with respect to classification. Here they have given with respect to classification. So this is our target attribute. That's the first key point you have to keep in mind. Second is what is the information gain of G uh, information gain of A1 and A2 with relative to the transactions of the table. Okay. So we have to find out the information gain of A1 and information gain of A2. Then we have to construct the uh, de the decision tree as well. Okay, like in this question, they haven't asked the construction of decision tree, but it, they, they might ask as well. So I'll discuss uh, that uh, also. So uh, if they ask that uh, question included, it will be for the 10 marks. So let's uh, cover up all the possible type of questions. Okay. So the first thing, what is the target attribute that we'll be writing? So the classification is what our target attribute. After I've written that, you have to see how many attributes are there except the target attribute. A1 and A2 are the two target at, uh, two attributes, right? So this is one. Uh, these are the two things we'll be considering. We have to find out the entropy and gain for this one. We have to find the entropy and gain for this one. Before that, we have to do a few steps. Like for example, S is the whole thing. Okay. Inside that, how many uh, positive values are there and how many negative values are there? That count we will be keeping here. And remember, if you are calculating entropy, see the first step after you write the positive and the negatives, how many are there you will be writing here. After that, you have to calculate the entropy. Okay, entropy is nothing but a concept in which if you if you have the same uh, number here, the entropy will be one. If you have one of them as zero, the entropy will be zero. Repeat with me. If you have the same numbers, the entropy will be one. If you have uh, one of them as zero, the final answer will also be zero. Done. So in this case, the same things are there. So the entropy will be one. This one we have to calculate the entropy of the whole table first. We have to calculate. Then we have to individually calculate the uh, entropy of true, entropy of false, for each of the values. See, attribute A one we will consider first. And after we have considered that, we have to find out how many uh, things are there inside A one. There is true and there is false. Two things are there, right? For true and false, again we have to calculate the entropy. Very easy. Just calculate how many uh, positive and negative are there in true. ST means as true. In true, I have one positive, uh, second positive, and one negative. So two positive and one negative. Now since it's not equal, neither there is any zero. We have to calculate the entropy. What's the formula for calculating entropy? Doesn't matter. Just have to know how to calculate. Okay. So what we'll be doing is, we'll be uh, writing here two. And how many total values are there? Three. So it will be two by three, and this will be one by three. Understood, right? Two by three and one by three. That's all. Nothing else. Right here, two by three. Log two by three minus one by three. Log one uh, one by three. And minus minus we put here, and log base is two. Okay, like that you can remember. Calculating this will get the entropy as 0.9183. This is for the attribute A one's true value. Like that we have to do for the attribute A one's false value as well. Now you can tell me here we have one positive and two negative. So SF will be one positive and two negative. Again we will be uh, applying the entropy formula. One positive is there. One by three log one by three minus two by three for because this is two log two by three. Calculate will get the same answer. Obviously both uh, terms are same. So you get the answer as 0.9183. We are done with the attribute A1. What we have calculated the entropy. They have asked information gain. You can calculate the information gain only when you know these three entropy values. This one entropy value, and for each attribute, what is true entropy value, false entropy value. Now let's see how to calculate the gain, which is information gain. Entropy of S first you have to substitute, which is one here, and then you have to substitute each of these values. What are these values? Let's have a look. One is from here. Why I have written three by six? Three by six. Uh, why? Because this one, uh, if you see here, it is uh, T and F, right? Because two types of possibilities are there for each attribute. Either you can have true or you can have false. How many trues are there and how many false are there? That's probability I've written. Three by six, three true out of six, and three false out of six. And for the true, what answer you got here? That you have to substitute. And false, what answer you got here? You have to substitute. Simple. Do the same thing for A2, and your answer will be ready. Then you will got an answer for A1. Same thing you have to do for A2 as well. See. Um, if it was not visible at that time, you what you have to just do is you have to calculate how many trues are there and how many false are there. Okay, and then you have to uh, see three trues are there, right? In our table, here we have three trues, right? Three trues and uh, three false. 
so three trues are present here so three by six and the entropy we calculated for true value that you have to multiply in uh, minus how many false were there uh, into uh, what is the entropy value of this one that we will be multiplying and then we'll be subtracting it with one which is the entropy of s you'll get a gain value keep it for gain of s of a1 like that we have to calculate for a2 a3 till a n how many will be there for all you have to calculate Again, repeat with what's the first step you'll be doing. You'll be writing attribute A1. This will remain same, okay? 3, 3 is entropy is 1 because in the next formula also we'll be needing that. Just the change will be you have to calculate how many values are there in T1. Okay, uh, I mean A2. And we have true and false, right? Again, two values. Same thing you'll be writing ST and SF. Calculate the entropy, substitute in the formula, find out the gain. Calculate the STSF, substitute in the formula, find out the gain. That's all. Let's have a quick visualization. We have true and false how many trues are there how many uh, means this is the total one this answer will be same obviously we have to keep it same it's the whole data set then st will be 2 plus and 2 minus as you can see here here we have 2t and here also we have 2t here negative negative here positive positive so 2 positive and 2 negative for the true value entropy is 1 because same same i told you it will be entropy will be 1 obviously and same goes for f also same same we have 1 and 1 and it will be 1 only we have got the entropy so what's our next step our next step is to calculate the uh, gain uh, value when you calculate the gain value the same value will be applying 1 minus and how many trues are there how many faults are there trues totally 4 trues are there see for the a2 value we have 1 2 3 4 4 trues are there and 2 faults are there so the probability 4 by 6 and 2 by 6 right so it's, uh, same thing we'll be writing here 1 minus 4 by 6 into entropy of true value 2 by 6 into entropy of false value calculate an answer you get as 0 here now what you have to do we have got the uh, gain of a2 and gain of a1 we have got two gains what's our next step is to compare the gain of a1 and uh, a2 these two i have written here the maximum and obviously it will be a1 when we have the when we got the gain of a1 we have to make it as the root node okay this is our final step we have got the maximum gain make that as the root node okay so if I make it as a root node, it will look something like this, a1. And this is a true value and this is the false value. Okay, I have for, I forgotten uh, to return here. These are the true values where I have true values in 1, 2, and 3, right? In a1, I have true values in 1, 2, and 3. And false values, I have 4, 5, 6, right? Now what I have to do, I have to uh, select a2 also. When it is true, all are uh, not positive, right? See here, when it is true, 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 all are not positive. So I just can't uh, assign here as positive whenever it is true because there is one instance which is this instance third instance where I have true here but it is negative. So in this case I have to consider A2 as well. Okay. So I further classify A2. The same thing goes with this one also. 4, 5, 6, right? 4, 5, 6 all are not negative. Whenever I have false here in A1, I don't have all negative values here. So I can't assign this negative here. Why? Because this is an exception here. So I have to consider A2's value in that case. What I will do is I will write here A2. Whenever a1 is true, let's see what a2 has to uh, tell to us. Whenever a1 is true, we'll consider a2 also here. True, positive, true, positive. Here it is true, but here it is negative. But here we have, in this case, false. Whenever a2 is false, given that a1 is true, okay, listen carefully. Given that a1 is true, whenever a2 is false, we have negative here. And whenever it is true, we have positive here. We got a perfect classification. a1 is true. If it is true in A2, it will be positive. It, if it is false in A2, it will be negative. That's what I will be writing here. For the third instance, it is false, negative. For the rest of the thing, it is positive. Again, coming to the 4, 5, 6 values, we will be checking. In 4, 5, 6, whenever it is false, whenever A2 is also false, we have positive. And whenever A2 is true, all the cases we have here as negative. So 4, I will make as positive. 5, 6 as uh, negative for false and true. Okay. For false and true, 4 as positive, 5, 6 as negative. Okay. Any question, you have to apply the same methods and uh, solve the following. So that's all for this video. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next